What's up everybody, Damon here filling in for NARS and in today's gaming news, the PS5 is losing one of its launch features, Gotham Knights will start out strong, and you can build your own PC with the PC gaming section at GameStop. This is your Daily Fix. Sony will be retiring PS5's Accolades feature later this year. What are PS5 Accolades, you ask? Yeah, that's why they're being retired. Accolades were initially introduced to foster a more positive multiplayer gaming experience by encouraging players to send one of three accolades to a fellow gamer based on their performance in an online match. The accolade could read helpful, welcoming, or good sport. You can see what accolades a player had earned by looking at their profile. But no one used it. And I have to admit, I've had my PS5 since launch and I never heard of this feature. Even looking for news stories about the PS5 from back in 2020, I could barely find any mention of PS5 accolades. So, Sony announced it is pulling the plug on the feature in the coming months. A statement on PlayStation.com reads, In fall of 2022, the accolades feature on PlayStation 5 will no longer be supported. The feature hasn't seen the level of usage we anticipated, so we are refocusing our efforts. We encourage the community to continue to send positive messages to one another. Okay, I'll start. Hey you, watching this IGN video, have you been working out? You look great, and I love what you've done with your hair. Anyway, poor one out for PlayStation accolades, gone too soon. I would say they'll be missed, but... In other news, the upcoming Gotham Knights might be an action RPG, but it won't follow the genre convention of having your characters start off as weaklings. Instead, Batgirl, Robin, Nightwing, and Red Hood will all be the powerful Batman acolytes you'd expect right from the get-go, and they'll each find their own unique ways to become stronger over the course of the game. All four characters begin more or less fully adept at what the development team informally calls Batman stuff, with unique skill trees allowing them to blossom into different kinds of vigilantes as you progress. Speaking to us as part of our month of IGN first coverage on Gotham Knights, creative director Patrick Redding explained the thought process. He said, It was very important for us that these heroes, our knights, are already awesome at the start of the game. It's not a function of them being ineffective as crime fighters, quite the opposite. They are all effectively graduates of the Batman school of crime fighting. So when they start, they are at their most similar, in the sense that they have a lot of these basic tools of combat and stealth, and moving around in the world and using their grapple. And then it's really over the course of the game that they fully diverge into their own flavor of what a Dark Knight of Gotham City should be. Mmm, delicious! Well, that makes sense. This isn't an origin story for these characters, so unless they did the old taste of power trope, where they start you off all powerful and then strip you of your abilities and items, see Symphony of the Night, just let the knights be badass from the beginning. Gotham Knights is out October 25th for PC, Xbox Series X and S, and PS5. Before that, however, we'll have the whole month of August to show you new gameplay, in-depth information, and more as part of IGN First. And finally today, with Summer of Gaming in the rearview mirror, we've got tons of exciting games and updates coming our way, like Marvel's Spider-Man finally swinging to PC on August 12th. If you want to play at your absolute best, you want to make sure that your PC parts aren't holding you back. Play as the webhead in stunning 4K and 120 frames per second by picking up an NVIDIA 3080 GPU right off the shelf at the PC gaming section at GameStop, where you can skip the overpriced third-party sellers and get right to the fun part. Get all the PC hardware and accessories you need to take your home setup to the next level. So if you want to finally fulfill your New Year's resolution of building your own PC tower, here's your chance. It's okay if you're six months late. You can head on over to the PC gaming section at GameStop and finally fulfill your resolution today. And that was your Daily Fix for Monday, August 1st. On this day in gaming history back in 1992, Mario Paint was released for the Super Nintendo. Now that you're all caught up on the news of the day, check out the first 16 minutes of Gotham Knights gameplay. I'm Jamin Hatfield. I'm going to get back to doing Batman stuff. For all things gaming, stick with us here at IGN.